Last time we were able to get started setting up our gallery fragment and our photo fragment here and shown in the demo. Now I'm going to set, uh, set up this button so that when we click it, it will actually launch a camera activity and we can take a picture and retrieve a photo. So let's go to a photo fragment here and we can, uh, we can get started with that. So we just have a single button in here. So button, button, launch, camera equals new button. Whoops, not new. I don't need new. Oh god. Oh. Button. Uh, view, find your buddy, art ID dot button launch camera. And then button launch camera, set on click listener, new on click listener. So launching camera. And what else? So now we want to. I want to make this fragment reusable. Like, um, for example, when I'm choosing a photo from the profile, so, whoops. <clears throat> so if we go back, if I'm choosing a photo from the profile here, when you go to edit my profile and I want to change a photo, I want to I wanna use this same fragment. Uh, well, I want to be able to use gallery fragment and photo fragment. So the key to this is going to be reusability. So we're going to have different scenarios. I'm going to have a different scenario for when the photo fragment is launched from share activity or whether it's launched from the profile activity. So basically what I can do is this fragment will, if, if we're coming from share activity, we can just choose, we can just figure out what the view pager is and then that will tell us. That basically means that we are actually in share activity. So I can create a public method here, get current tab number, and then I can just return view pager dot get current item. So return the current tab number zero equals gallery fragment one will equal photo fragment and maybe some tabs. Okay, so back into photo fragment here. So here I can do if if share activity. Um, and then get activity dot uh, get current tab number equals one because that'll be the photo fragment. I'll actually create a constant up here. So uh, constants private static static final int photo fragment number equals one and gallery fragment will be two. So this, we won't need that, but whoops. Just to be consistent, so photo fragment. So if it equals photo fragment, then we know that we came from share activity, the view pager was activated, and then we started, uh, we're trying to start a camera intent. So after that, we are just going to check permissions to make sure that they were verified, even though they should be as soon as we start the activity but just to double check. So once again, we can reference uh, a, a method from share activity. So we can do our check permissions method here and we can do our, we can do permissions dot permissions just to check all of our permissions. And that's giving me an error because it's check permissions is only gonna check a single permission. Well, the only permission we actually care about in this situation is the camera. So let's go into permissions and we're gonna create a separate, uh, per, two separate permissions here. One is going to be a camera permission. So I'll just do camera permission. And this is literally just going to be a single permission here. And we're going to copy that and do the same thing for whoops, uh, storage. So storage permissions. Hmm. I guess maybe write storage permission. And then we can do read source source permission. I don't think we're ever going to need this. I'm trying to think of if we will, but I guess I can just write out anyway. So anyway, we have those three separate ones, and here I can just do uh, camera permission and reference just that first position because there's only one permission there. So log d. Um, if that is verified, then we can start the camera. So do starting camera. And then to start a camera, we just use a camera intent. So camera 
intent equals new intent media store dot action image capture and start activity for result and we pass our camera intent and then we want our camera request code which I haven't defined yet so we're going to create another uh, constant up here and that's going to be I don't know let's just call it five it doesn't really matter what it is it just matters that you're you're consistent because we're going to use our on activity for result to capture this request code so that will start the activity that will uh, start the camera up but once we actually take a photo we need to be able to retrieve it and to do that we can we're going to use on activity for result so control o for override methods and do on activity for whoops on activity for result on activity on activity result sorry and we just want to do an if statement here for if request code equals camera request code then we know that we have got a photo so we're done taking a photo and we can do attempting to navigate to uh, I guess the final screen final share screen whatever that's gonna be and then we would navigate to that screen so navigate navigate to the final uh, share screen to publish photo and here I guess if permission isn't verified we can just go ahead and try to uh, restart share activity because share activity it, it should be impossible like they shouldn't be able to get anywhere unless they verify permission so we could just restart share activity essentially and it should ask them again so we'll uh, create a new intent uh, intent intent equals new intent we're going to come from here and we're going to go to share activity dot class and we want to attach some flags to the intent because we want to clear the activity uh, stack before we actually do that so set flags to intent dot flag activity new task and also intent dot flag activity clear task and then we can do start activity for intent so that will clear the activity stack and essentially restart everything and send them back to share activity. So let's uh, let's run that and test it out. Okay, so we'll go to share here and go to the photo fragment and open the camera. And we can see that my camera is working. Here I am. And uh, so there we go, that's good. I could take a picture actually. And so I took it, hit the check mark, and now let's check to see if we received that. So we can see on activity result, done taking a photo, attempting to navigate to this final share screen. So we did successfully execute this method down here. And now I want to see, so if the permission isn't verified, I want to test that. I have to uninstall. So I'll uninstall the app really quick here and then reinstall and let's test that. Okay, so I've uninstalled. Let's log in. No, oh, I gotta verify my email again because I installed it. Oh, no, it's because I changed my email, not because I uninstalled it. Uh, because we changed emails in previous videos, we are gonna have to verify the email again. So there's a verification email sent to me. So I just got it, I confirmed it. Now I should be able to sign in. Cool, now let's go to share and yeah, so there should be no way I can get in here. Like, uh, yeah, should be good because it'll just keep asking. Okay, that's fine. So in the next one, we're gonna start setting up the gallery fragment, and we won't, we're gonna need to browse the phone's memory so that we can actually select images from it. So I'll see you guys in that next video.